good morning it is the 18th of March it's a Monday so it is 5 20 a.m. and I was assigned ready last night from oh let me go check in I don't know why I keep doing this like I get on I get on here and talk to you guys before I check in give me a minute all right, I'm back. So they assigned me ready last night. I was supposed to be on ready from 5.35 to 1.35. But once again, silly me, did not check her schedule before I left the room. So I checked the schedule literally while I was like downstairs in the lobby waiting on the shuttle to come get me and take me to the airport. So, they changed my schedule. So now they have me sitting, they still have me reporting at 535, but they have me sitting ready from 535 to 645. And then after that, I catch it. They've already like assigned me a turn. So I'm going, I'm deadheading from here to Detroit. And then when I get into Detroit, I'm working a Detroit turn. I have no idea where the place is, somewhere I've never even heard of. I will get back to y'all as far as the city. Um, so I'm doing that turn. Literally, the flight is like about 40 minutes or something. You can tell according to like the miles and stuff on your trip sheet. But um, and usually, like whatever like the block time is or something like that, usually I can take away at least a solid 30 minutes of that time <clears throat> to let me know exactly how long the flight is actually going to be. But, um, yeah, so it's going to be a relatively short flight. Like I said, it's just a turn. And then after that, they did hit me from Detroit back to Chicago. And then I'm done at about 4.30 this afternoon. So, yeah, that is going to be my day today. And y'all just knew I was going to be in a crew lounge sleep. So I was like, well, let me just wear my glasses, y'all. Be comfortable, you know. Nope. Nope. They got me working a turn today. It's like, girl, we gonna use you today. You're not getting no sleep. So yeah, so here I am, once again, with my glasses on. I swear I've had my glasses on for like a week now. It's such a great feeling. But, um, <sighs> yeah, so I guess I'll just chill at the gate. Instead of going down to the crew lounge right now. So I'm gonna chill at the gate. Call my people. AKA my parents. <laughs> um, I take my grandmother to the hospital this morning. Um, for, I think she's doing another, um, I think she's doing chemo today. It's either chemo or she has like the actual doctor's appointment today something like that Ooh, my arm was hurting but yeah so that's what they're doing today unfortunately I could not be there I had to be here so I'm here but um and then literally as soon as I get I'm only on for three days y'all so I'm on Monday Tuesday and then Wednesday so they already pre-assigned me a quick two-day trip starting tomorrow at like 10 30 in the morning and then the next day i get back at like eight o'clock at night so um they might stay in town or whatever so if not then i'm gonna hop on a flight and head back i'm only off for two days but still anytime that you know you can be with your loved ones i definitely try to be there especially during like a time like this that my family's going through this whole thing with my grandmother having cancer i'll be Right now, I have myself leaving at like 9 o'clock at night from here as soon as I get off. So, hopefully, we, you know, we don't really have any delays or any delays at all Wednesday so I can go ahead and make it. Um, so, Tuesday night, we're going to be staying in Madison, which is a real, real nice hotel, y'all. And we stayed in last time. It was like real bomb. Y'all probably don't remember, but 
of course I'll show you the room again but we've done this trip before it just it was a four-day CRJ trip but this time it is a two-day so it's like they split it in half so clearly they gave the other half to someone else since I was only since I'm only on for three days so yeah it's the exact same thing that I've had before so it's three legs it's three legs there yeah it's three legs Tuesday three legs Wednesday I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm just going to sit down here at the gate. We're near the gate, not actually at the gate because I don't need nobody asking me questions that I don't know the answer to. So I got about an hour right now. It's 527. So um, yeah, I'm just going to sit over here by the gate and then yeah, this is where I'm going to spend my time sitting ready. All right, I think I'll just talk to you guys. When I get to Detroit. Bye. Oh yeah, and another thing. I want to come on here and tell you guys. So, okay. So this was kind of on my heart to talk about because I just got off of the shuttle and there was a young lady in the shuttle. She's not happy at all in her crash pad. So I told her about mine. So I was telling her, you know, like, well, you know, you can always um, come over to the one that I'm staying in. And I told her where it was at and stuff like that, how much it costs and all. And then she was like, um, she was like, oh, yeah, I had the flyer for that one. You know, um, I'm going to look into it and um, a little bit more than, you know, I can kind of afford. Now, if you are not happy in your crash pad and if you are not getting the proper sleep that you need as a flight attendant and if you have disrespectful roommates it's not worth paying something way way cheaper because at the end of the day it's almost like you're just giving away free money if you can't even relax or get proper sleep or do the necessities that you need to do in your crash pad so I'm here to tell you guys like honestly you like we already know regional flight attendants don't make make little to nothing so you really 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 have to make sure that you budget um, in order to make sure that you can do your job effectively I just tell you guys do not just give away your money if you are not happy with your crash pad or with your situation change it you have the power to change it you have to just make sure that you budget properly I felt so bad for her because it's almost like she's a little stuck and like yeah I know um, that the problems that she's having at the craft break that she's currently at she wouldn't have where we're at so I was just like I can't fathom you know what I'm saying having to pay money even though I'm paying something a little cheaper, but to have to deal with some of the things that she's dealing with, like people partying, throwing up in the sink, like she can't get dressed because they're in there and like, you know, they party to five and six o'clock in the morning and she, you know, has to be up at like four in the morning to like get ready for work. Like it, like it's, that's insane. It's absolutely insane. Like that's not what a crash pad is for. It's not for you to be partying and doing all that. It is for it's crash period I mean you make friends or whatever cool but that's not what it's for so yeah guys if you are in that situation and I get that you know like Chicago has options so it's you're more likely to find better options here I do know that I know but but I do know in some cities not so much but um sometimes you kind of have to create your own opportunity when you see issues like that in your city word of advice yeah i just wanted to let you guys know and talk to you guys about that um hopefully i see her but um yeah i just felt so bad for her when she was telling me about it in the in the van just now like it was so sad I was like, I cannot believe you are putting up with that. There's no way I would be putting up with that at all. Like, when it comes to stuff like that, like, you interfering with my job, 
that's a problem. That is a huge problem, and that right there is just disrespectful to me. So, um, yeah, guys, know your worth. Sometimes you have to pay a little bit more just to make sure your needs are met. So, yeah, I'm going to start rambling now, and I'll let you guys go. Bye. All right, guys, so I've made it to Detroit. It is officially... 934. Um, we were slightly delayed in Chicago on the tarmac. I'm not quite sure why. I just kind of like fell asleep. But um, we got in a little bit past our um, time, our arrival time. So now I'm headed to my gate. They let us out at like the A gates, but I have to go all the way to, to the C gates. Gate C9 is where I'm headed. So, yeah, it's gonna take me some time to get over there. And it's now saying that the flight is already delayed though. So, it's not good. But I mean, what can I do? I just got here. Oh yeah, so, so I found out where we're going. We're going to Appleton, Wisconsin. That's where we're headed. So, should be about a good 45, 40 to 45 minute flight. There and back. Hopefully we don't have any delays or anything. I'm hungry. I had no breakfast. So I'm done. I'm supposed to be done at like one. So, I'll just have to get me something to eat in the airport. I mean, I don't have any food anyways at my crash pad, so I'm going to have to get something regardless. But, um, I'm going to get something here in the in the um, airport, and whatever I get for lunch is going to have to make sure it can carry over to dinner tonight. So that I only pay once. So... Yeah, guys. All right, let me try and walk a little faster so I can hurry up and get there because the the express the express tram here in Detroit is still down, so it's gonna take forever just to get to another gate. Good morning. It is 10:25 in the morning, so I have about 25 minutes so it's time for me to report. Um, so I'm headed down near the gate, not to the gate, but um, I'm just go down there and sit. I have like a muffin in my bag. Um, you guys probably seen me like taking in one of my clips in my, in my previous vlog, or whatever. But I'll take the muffins for breakfast. So, I'll have some muffins as my breakfast or whatever. We start a trip at, like I said, 10.50, but I'm headed to, I think it's like Everclear or, I don't know, something like that. We've been there before, but it's just a turn. And then after that, we have like a two and a half hour sit, and then we go from Chicago to Madison where y'all seen like that massive room. It was really nice to have like pretty much like a full kitchen and like a nice living room area. And then it was separated by a wall. Then it had like the um, room and stuff. It was a really nice hotel. I'm actually looking forward to going back to that hotel. And then tomorrow, our report time is at like one something, 1.15 in the afternoon or something, which isn't, fine, which isn't bad. So, get to sleep in but we get in today at like eight something eight o'clock eight twenty something like that is when we're supposed to get in so yeah I had to set a reminder to make sure I do my CDTs because I keep forgetting and they're due 
the first of April. I mean, I know right now. I think it's. I think today's the nineteenth. Yeah, it's the nineteenth. It's on the 19th, but still, I ain't trying to push it too, too close like I did before. I did it like literally like the night before they were due. But, um, so that's what I'm gonna do tonight. Make sure I do all my CBTs tonight and then chill. Um, update about my grandmother. We have officially found out she has stage four cancer. So, I'm definitely gonna be back and forth a lot more now because of that. Um, so we don't really know what the next stages are or anything like that. So right now we're just trying to be optimistic about it and you know, just hope for the best. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, well that is about it. Um, near the gate now so I'm just gonna find a corner over here and sit while I wait all right bye guys tour so we have our almost full kitchen we have a couch tv in the stand the bed mirror and then we have this mirror we have a shower Alrighty. So I was hoping we would get, they would give us like something on like the sixth or the seventh floor because those are the ones where they have like the nicest rooms. The third floor is, I mean, it's like this. It's okay. It's cool. It's still nice. Don't get me wrong. But you know, the other one is just nicer and it's bigger. All right. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So y'all, I had my very first um, spot check oh yes y'all yes of course i passed but still it was just like oh my god i'm actually getting a spot check right now i was shocked i was like y'all really gonna spot check me like i have my items always she's like hi natasha i'm just here to do your spot check like she was so sweet i didn't even get her name that's so sad i didn't get, i didn't even get her name she was so sweet um oh i love this lighting yes honey um but yeah, so, and pretty much a spot check is just where, um, like, somebody from, like, in flight or something like that, pretty much like a supervisor or manager or something like that, and they just come on the planes and they, you know, um, spot check the flight attendants um, and make sure you have all of your required items. So, don't ask me what happens if you don't have them. I'm assuming you get written up. I'm not 100% sure, um, but, yeah, I had all my items, so... I'm good, girl. Um, but yeah, so it was really, really quick. Um, it really didn't take any time at all, to be honest. Um, I swear if I would have gotten there like literally 35 minutes prior, because that's what time we're supposed to be at the aircraft. Um, it's 35 minutes prior to departure. Now, if I would have did that, then that would have kind of like been pushing it for me. But y'all seen how I was there like extra, extra early, so... Oh, good thing I was. All right, um, oof, girl, this head. My hair does not like the um, planes, y'all. It gets like dry and then it curls up and it's just not cute. I'm gonna put the privacy, privacy thing. If you are staying past like checkout time, usually checkouts are like around like. 11 or something like that at hotels 
um, if you're staying past that time in like a hotel, honestly, y'all, please put a do not disturb sign out um, on your door. Like usually, of course, the hotels, you know, have them whatever inside of the room. So just put them outside of your room so that people don't come disturbing you because I've had it happen even on my IOE. I think I told you guys this, but um, I think we were supposed to be... I think I wasn't due to report until like maybe two in the afternoon or something like that. That's what time my deadhead was. So literally I had like, I went downstairs early. I ate with, I ate with the crew and stuff. And then the rest of them caught like a deadhead home. And I did not, of course, stay in Chicago. So, uh, well not stay in Chicago, but I stayed so I can catch the deadhead back to Chicago. And, um, yeah, it was me and the, what's, whew, the first officer. It was just us two. But what happened was, was that um, after I finished eating breakfast with them, of course, I went back to my room and I laid back down because we weren't supposed to meet until like, I think we like one o'clock, one thirty van or one forty five van or something like that was our van time. So it was pretty much late in the evening. And um, I had eaten breakfast at like seven in the morning with them. So, of course, I went back to sleep. And y'all, when I tell y'all the hotel was like. They kept banging on the door. At first, I didn't know what was going on. I was like, what is this? Like, I thought I kept hearing something because of the way the room was set up. So, you had, like, the bed, and then you had, like, the bathroom area, like, in the middle. And then off to that, you had, like, a whole, like, um, living room area. So, it was a bit further from me, and I had my door closed. So, to the actual room. So, the, well, I mean, to the where the bed was, I had that door closed. So, y'all, like, I thought I kept hearing something. And then next thing you know, like, um... Somebody, I heard like a thing or something in there like, I was like, what is going on? So I got up and I went out to the door um, and y'all, it's the, one of the maintenance people trying to get in and they're using a hanger to try and unlock the door. I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like, somebody's in here. And they were, he was like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So then someone calls me. Now that's what they should have done was probably call me. They called me and they were like, um, um, uh, um, they were like, oh, they said something. I forgot. I was like, yeah, I'm crew. So they're like, oh, okay, um, okay, sorry, we didn't realize you hadn't checked out yet. But you have what time we're supposed to leave. Like, you have our van time. Like, you have our rooms. Like, how do you not notice? But I was just like, okay. Mind you, I'm new. Like, this is literally like maybe the third time I've stayed in. I had stayed in a hotel since having this job. So, of course, I'm like really, really new. But now I really know like what's going on. And, girl, don't, mm -mm, mm -mm, don't bother me. Not while I'm trying to get rest. If it ain't time for me to go downstairs, don't come bother me in my room. I need every bit of a wait time I can get. But anyways, so I'm hungry. Um, I have some food, but I need some food for tomorrow. But I guess we have like a little sit tomorrow in Chicago. I guess I can just get something there. So I guess I'll just eat what I have in my lunchbox. And then when I get to Chicago, then I'll just eat um, something somewhere in the airport, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and eat me some dinner. But I'm going to take a shower first and then I'm going to come back out and eat. Um, I think that's about everything, guys. I will just holler at you guys probably, of course, tomorrow. But I don't know if I decide to go downstairs, I'm gonna look at a menu or something, see what they have. If I decide to go downstairs, I'm not bringing you guys along. But for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get in the shower because you know it's been a long day. I need a bath. So I can relax. I don't know about y'all, but I can't really, really relax until after I've had a shower. So I have to take my shower, y'all, at night. Have to. It is a must. All right, guys. Bye bye. Hi, guys. It is. I don't know what day it is. It's the next day, clearly from what you just seen. And so I'm about to go downstairs in about three minutes or so. My alarm is probably about to go off in a little bit. Um, I'm watching Wendy Williams right now. Um, well, I'll sit up here and just relax and, you know, wait to go downstairs. Um, so today we have... 
three legs and so we're going from Shenandoah where we are right now to Chicago and then we're doing some turns it's like SPI or something like that I think it's the code I'll have to look it up when I get to the airplane I'll let you guys know but um but yeah so that is the day um our report time is 1 15 and we are a little ways from the airport so we have to be downstairs at 12 50 but i'm going downstairs at 12 45 you know just to be on time be early on time um so yeah and then uh, right now it says that we're getting that we get released at around eight so let's hope that that is the case we don't have any delays or any issues or anything like that um so i am gonna of course go back to be with family whatever. again like i was right before i came on this three-day um bucket that i was in so i'm be with them for my two days off whatever and then you know go back to work um so like i said hopefully i know they go back to the doctor next week so um i know after my two days off i start a four-day trip um so after that four-day trip or at the end of that four-day trip something like that it's when we should know more about what's really going on what's the next steps or whatever the case may be so um yeah um that's about it so hopefully i find out some good news next week or whatever but for now like i said i'm just trying to spend as much time as i can with family so um yeah i will i guess how about you guys when i get to the airplane hello um so we are back on the plane so we just had an hour and a half sit in Chicago. Well, it was more like two hours because we got in early. So, so um, we just, I just ate lunch or whatever. And so we just got on the plane and stuff, did our safety checks and everything. And now we have about five minutes until we board. So we're going from, so SPI, that um, airport code is Springfield, Illinois. So it's a quick 30 minute flight. And we're just doing a turn. So meaning we're going from Chicago to Springfield and then Springfield back to Chicago. And then I'm done for the day. Um, it is currently 4.20 p.m. And departure is at 4.50. So, yeah, we will be boarding shortly. And then, you know, this two day will be over with. And it is out of here that I go. Yeah, guys um i guess i'll see you after i finish this turn and then yeah i'll probably go ahead and upload this video damn